Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Secret of Mana. I am Rufo, playing this game for you. Woo! Well, now that we have now that we have our dragon, we can we can actually see the world. And interestingly enough, Secret of Mana actually uses a globe. The map's pretty confusing, but the important thing to remember is that that up on the map, since it doesn't seem to give us a direct north. Up on the map is actually the direction we are facing. Which is quite important to remember. So! There we go. Blah, 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 blah. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head... Hey, okay, map, go away. So we are going to head this way. And yes, when you turn the map, play me also turns. But we're going to drop off here at the... at Gold City. Why? Well, because the best stuff that you can purchase in the game, game at this point is available here. And boy, is it expensive. Fortunately, we have a great big pile of money. And, well, purchasing this armor is going to... is going to make things a lot easier. <laughs> Let's see. What else do we want to try and get? We'll get this. Now we need to manage our equipment. Now the duck helm is is more powerful, but Rufal here can't actually equip it, so he has to sit with the dragon helmet. Which is still more than twice as powerful as what he has currently. Rusty rings, and then the battle suit, which is nearly three times as powerful as what he has currently. Put that on, midget. Let's see. Ah. There we go. Now to try and sell stuff and see what more we can get. Which is unfortunately going to be not a lot. Because things are that expensive around here. Aha! And sell the tiger cap for next to nothing. Bye! Flower suit's useless because we have the battle suit. <laughs> We want a duck helmet, because it's a duck. Not you. Pink. We'll have you, we'll, we'll have Anya put it on because she is the healer. And for the moment, we are not going to, to buy anything else. Even though we could afford one of the rings, rings which is 8,800, I think we'll be better served by getting, getting lesser gear for, here for the meantime. Well, personally, for me, when playing an RPG, I don't like to uh, I don't like to pick up up lesser stuff when there's a better upgrade. But right now, it seems a smarter point. Alrighty. Now, before we go on with the plot, which is that by heading to Lofty Mountains, we want to head to Gaia's Navel. It looks like that's it over there. Also, where is that island? Okay, it looks like it's over that way. Which way is that way? Blah, 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 blah. Take our chances. Let's go. get to be horribly lost for a moment. Aha! Gaia's navel is the easy one to remember. <laughs> Let's see. That direction looks applicable. No, it doesn't. That's that stupid lighthouse. Now we'll go back. We'll go there and check again. What I'm looking for is a turtle-shaped island. 
Oh, that is the turtle safe island. Excellent. There's nothing here of real importance. Except for what's in here. Hello, sir. We blasted sea hair tails. Hmm. We can actually do something about Kakara's water situation. This guy's so frustrated with business, he's just going to throw us one for free. Aha. Now, let's get out of here and pretend we actually know what we're doing. Aha. <laughs> Alrighty. Aha! The desert's just... dead ahead! Excellent. This, mysterious, this mysteriously lush portion is where we're headed. Out of my way, you. Alright. Yes! Hooray! In return, he gives us the Moogle Belt. Ugh. What the Moogle Belt does is it is it allows us to at will change to and from being a Moogle. It's going to be more commonly used to uh, de-Moogle somebody. Especially since I don't think it wears off. <laughs> now we've done that. Now we'll make our way to Gaia's navel and pick up the other optional item. Is that it up there? I don't think it is. Yeah, navel's this way. A little bit more that way. Aha! Bye! There it is. There we go. Out of my way, you. We've come here to talk to the... to the mayor of the dwarf village. And he will give us something that... you would think he would have given it to us earlier in the game, but... he specifically won't give it to us until... Uh, until we've gotten flamey. You there. I don't mind that Anya's kind of stuck up there. And he's going to hand us the Midge Mallet. Which was what they used during the... Uh, during that crappy show way early on. That made... That made the sprite appear smaller and then grow. Hoorah. Now we've done all that, we can hit we can actually go where we're supposed to go. Dum -de -dum. Which is of course the lofty mountains. Where are they from? Parking around here. There we are. It's not much to speak of around here in town. Except, of course, for the shop here. Which is where you would come for your for upgrades if you didn't go to uh, Gold City. That's the other reason why I gave the duck helm to uh, Anya. She can't equip the circlet that you can buy here. Magical armor is inferior to what we all have, but everyone can use these. We're just using those frosty rings, because we couldn't afford the other stuff. You there. Never, I can never manage to make these menus go go the way I want to.
I'll sell those things later off. I'll sell that stuff off screen. As I've normally been doing. Aha! But first, we're in the lofty mountains. Our goal at the moment is going to be to reach the summit. Ooh. Let's take control of Anya so she doesn't get herself hurt. Ooh. We are extremely overgeared for this area, no thanks to that shopping in Gold Town. In Gold City. That there is the Palace of Shadows. We have no interest in going there yet. I suppose we could probably skip things by just going there now, but... I don't want to. <laughs> we have a mountain to climb. Oh, get over here, you. Alright, sprint. I want you to be equipped with the whip. Uh, chiefly because we are going to need it to get up the mountain. Have my way, bird. Ah! Just try and make it up the mountain. out of my way. Come on, people. are there. <laughs> Beat things up on my way down. My own time! Ha! Because after all, we are here to speak with the sage. Hello, sir. Bird. <laughs> Go away! And he tells us that the sage went to the Palace of Darkness. I don't know offhand if that's relevant, but... If, if it's relevant that we learned that before going there, but... I've done it anyway. So there. I'll make my way back there. Back there, and we shall go through that palace. Ne I'll make my way back there off screen. We'll go through the palace next time. See you then. Later.